The range function in Python is nothing special and we all know it, right? Let's see. Here is a short recap before we get into more interesting use cases. In the range function we can define a start, stop and step parameter. When we loop over it and print it, we see the generated values for every loop. Simple, right? But did you know you can use the range function to create a list of values in the same way? Here we use the list function where we pass the range function to and assign it to a variable. When we print this, we get a width range generated list. Or we can use the range function in combination with the length function to access characters in a string. In this example, we pass the length of a text to the range function, loop over it and print the index i of the text in multiple lines to the console. Not serious, but funny. If we add the end and flush parameter to the sprint statement, we get back our initial string. <laughs> Amazing, huh? <laughs> Did you know this? If so, here is another one. If you are scared about the enumerate function, we can access indices and items of a list by using the range function on it. Therefore, we pass the length of an items list to the range function and loop over it. Then we print the index i and the item for the index i. A simple way to avoid the scary enumerate function. Drop a comment if you didn't know all of them.